Hey, welcome back. Today I want to share with you my 10 favorite YouTube channels. These aren't motorcycle channels, but they are some great channels when it comes to photography, landscape, travel, and creativity in general. Let's take a look. Okay, these are in no particular order, but they are all in the top 10. And number one, is Thomas Heaton. Out of the UK and on YouTube since 2014, Thomas has over 9 million views. He does amazing landscape photography from around the world, along with great tutorials. I have to admit, the first couple of episodes that I saw from Thomas Heaton's channel, he was having a rough time. He dropped his camera, he missed the shots. It was just a, a series of problems. But I was super impressed by the way that Thomas just kept going after the picture. So I kept watching, and honestly, Thomas is a great photographer, and he's an inspiration. And anybody who watches Thomas's channel will know what I'm saying when I say, Mr. Heaton, your work is absolutely stunning. At number two, Pix Imperfect. On YouTube since 2016, he has over four million views. That's huge, and it's justified. It is some of the best Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials that I have ever seen. They're engaging, they're practical, and they're fun. This guy's an absolute Photoshop ninja, and I've learned a lot from these videos. Some very cool tips for beginner and pro alike. Number three, one of my favorite Canadians, Brendan Vanson. Brendan's a Canadian travel photographer. Usually he posts daily, and I gotta tell you, when he doesn't post, I miss him. He's almost like a family member at this point. I start to worry. I want to call him. Brandon, you okay? Anything I can do for you? But his content is absolutely amazing. He's a great photographer. He's a great vlogger. And it's fascinating to go with him as he travels around the world to all these amazing places. Brendan, two thumbs up. Great job, sir. Number four, D for Darius. Darius Britt is a filmmaker, cinematographer, director, screenwriter. Darius Britt has been on YouTube since 2013 and has close to 8 million views. His channel covers filmmaking, screenwriting, and directing tips. Darius is very good at what he does, and his how-to videos speak to filmmakers, screenwriters, and the like at every level. Very informative, very useful, and he's just likable. Most of his videos cover foundational things like story structure, how to write, directing, and how to get the most out of the gear you already have. Darius, thank you. Two thumbs up, you have a great channel. Number five, James Popsis, another UK photographer. He's been on YouTube since 2011. His channel has loads of photography vlogs, tips, tricks, landscape photography, some Photoshop, a little bit of business stuff. James comes across as one of those people you just want to hang out with. He's just one of the guys. He's funny, perhaps a little quirky at times, but he's always entertaining and he's always informative. Two thumbs up to James Popsis. Great channel, sir. Number six, Sean Tucker. Sean is another UK photographer who's been on YouTube since 2008. As he puts it, he's more interested in the why of photography than the how. There are some tips and tutorials, but my favorite Sean Tucker vlogs are where he crosses into artistry and creativity. There's no hype, no glitz, no shtick. Sean Tucker is the fine art for the creative heart. And whether he's shooting on his iPhone or higher end camera, he has very good pictures. Many of them black and white, which I like. Sean, great job. Thank you so much for what you do. Two thumbs up, keep it up. Number seven, Roberto Blake. Roberto Blake is a fairly new find for me, but he's been on YouTube since 2009. Check this, he has almost 18 million views. 18 million, that's crazy. Roberto is a motivational speaker for creatives. I ran across his channel when I was looking for things on how to pick up my YouTube audience. And he has a lot of those videos, but as I've continued to watch, every video I've seen has useful practical and helpful information on just being creative. His insights are invaluable and spot on. Roberto, thank you for what you do. Again, two thumbs up to you, sir. Number eight, Kim Grant is a recent find of mine. She's been on YouTube since 2014 and she does Scottish adventures, landscape photography, and conservation awareness. My initial draw to Kim's channel 
wasn't just the fact that she's in a beautiful place. She also struck me as someone who was roughly the same level as I am. She didn't come across as having a big following, but I will tell you, not only is she very determined and she knows what she's doing, she takes outstanding pictures. I haven't seen any of Kim's videos that I wasn't drawn into and watched from beginning to end. They're all entertaining, they're all interesting, and she usually gets great pictures. Kim, two thumbs up for you, great job, and thank you for sharing it with us. At number nine, yeah, nine, Travel Fields. Maddie's been on YouTube since 2015 and still has, wait for it, over six million views. Every video he does is helpful, useful, entertaining, and some of the video and photography that comes out of it is just beautiful. With practical tips and tricks, it's a must see. Two thumbs up, absolutely great channel. That brings us to number 10. Now I saved Peter McKinnon to last, but he is by no means last in any way, shape or form. Peter McKinnon is perhaps the king of YouTube. Another one of my favorite Canadians. They are so creative up there. Peter's been on YouTube since 2010, but he has over 47 million views. 47 million views. And that is probably climbing like the national debt in the US. All of his videos teach us something about photography or cinematography, or they just take us someplace fun. And he's got great hair. I think they all have great hair up there. I don't know where you go if you're on the top and you're still going up, but keep your eye on Peter McKinnon because we'll find out. He's a rock star. He's like a superstar. He might be the king of YouTube. And he's another one that is so personable that it's almost like he's family. I'm just excited to see where he goes from here. So Peter, dude, you're killing it. Absolutely just killing it. And I like coffee too, so we're you know like brothers from another mother. So that's my 10 favorite YouTube channels right now as we speak. I would highly recommend that you check them out. I absolutely love the channels and considering how many views they've got, a lot of other people do too. I don't think you'll be disappointed. As I said, if you're into filmmaking or photography or landscapes or travel or creativity in general, these are great channels. Now, that said, thank you for your time. I appreciate the time that you spend watching this channel and the support that you give me. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I love subscribers. Definitely subscribe. I've got a lot of great content coming up. I've got my experience with the GoPro Hero 6 coming up, and so far it's been pretty stellar, and I think you're gonna enjoy the video. I've got some events coming up that I'm gonna to get to video. I've always got photography trips that I'm taking around the Charleston area and South Carolina in general. In a couple weeks, I've got a motorcycle trip down to Key West that I'm gonna be vlogging for, and I'm actually gonna try and vlog daily for this one just to get into a routine of travel vlogging. And I hope you join me for that one. I've also got some other videos that I've been working on that uh, I think you'll really enjoy. So stick with me. It's going to be a ride. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>